Hi everyone, my name is Lucy. I am Design Lawyer's Marketing Director and today I'm going to show you how to connect a custom domain name to your Design Web project and how to publish it to the web. It only takes a few minutes, you absolutely don't need to be a dev to do it. Anyone can do it, including myself. So let's jump in. So this is a fun project that our design team has been working on recently. Uh, it's a website called randomdesignstuff.com uh, and it's a simple landing page that we built for designers and creatives uh, and it has two uh, call to action buttons here uh, that will randomly send you to a design related uh, website or, or content. Definitely check it out, it's really fun. Um, so we've built this page in Designware uh, obviously and, and like any project uh, it came with a free designware.io URL. But we've uh, bought this domain name called randomdesignstuff.com so that people could find it more easily. And we bought it from the domain registrar GoDaddy. And now we want to connect it to our project so that when the website goes live, it has the right uh, URL and domain name. So here we're using the GoDaddy, but you can actually use any registrar you want, uh, like domainname.com or Oscator or Netfirms if you want. Uh, those are other popular options. But in any case, you'll be able to edit the access record. It's always pretty easy to find if you're not sure where to go. You can uh, look at your registrar's uh, help docs. You'll always find resources to help you there. So here I've logged into my GoDaddy account and now I'm going to open the DNS management page so that I can edit the access record or a record. So all you need to do is change the value here to this address. What's happening here is that we're making sure that when someone enters your domain name in the URL bar, they get connected to your content, to your website. Uh, we're establishing the connection between the domain and the right IP address, basically. So typically when you do this for the first time, you already have an A record that is parked with the name at here and you just need to edit the value as we just did. Uh, but you might also have a second uh, A record with the name www. Uh, and in this case, you just need to edit it and add the same value here. And that's all you need to do on this side. Now let's go back to Designware and click this button publish here. Just remember that you're going to need the subscription to access the publish functionalities in Designware. And I just need to click add domain and enter the domain name that I just bought and set up in GoDaddy. And here it's best to add the domain name without www dot before the domain name and to add it also with so that uh, whatever people type in their URL bar in their browser, they're going to find your website easily. Okay, so as soon as I've added my uh, URLs here, uh, I am going to configure website slash PWA. So what it does is that it opens this uh, very short form and it just asks me to add my site name uh, to set up what I want to appear in the browser tab. Uh, and then I need to upload the small image uh, that is going to show up beside the name of my website in the browser tab. I also have the option to make uh, my project a PWA if I want to. Uh, in this case, I just need to add the app name and app icon. If you're not familiar with what a PWA is, it's basically like a website that you can uh, download to your device to browse it offline and, and full screen and have enhanced functionalities. Uh, we've published a bunch of tutorials and articles on our blog if you want to check it out. Okay, so now I'm going to click on save. There you go. And it's just going to take a few minutes to go live. We see this progress bar just here. We just need to wait a little. If you've entered the wrong domain name, you're going to see that error message. And all you need to do here is just go back to your domain name register. Make sure you have the right domain. Uh, make sure that there's no typo and try to enter it again. And if you still see uh, error messages, just uh, contact our support team. They'll be happy to help you. And as soon as it's live, you're going to see this icon here uh, and you'll be able to click this link to open your website in another window. So that's it for today's tutorial. That's how you publish a website or a PWA in Designware. And now, as you might know, Designware also lets you publish native apps uh, to iOS or Android or macOS or basically any platform you want. And that's going to be what we're going to cover in our next tutorial. So stay tuned. Don't forget to hit subscribe and see you next time.